So I think the middle one is probably the easiest one to sketch. So I'll show you what I do. Um, I hope my pencil is, I think you'll be able to see it. We'll see, I'm, yep. I'll sketch it quite big. Yes, that'd be good, yeah, if you can. <laughs> so what I like to do, I like to divide my boat into two parts. So you can usually see that uh, we have this line in the middle. And then the boat goes like down, but it's not straight line. It's a little bit corked. So it should be something like that. Can you see it? Maybe I'll do it with my brush. Hold on. Okay. Uh, so first I usually start with this line in the middle when I sketch. Then we have the left side. So as I told you, it, it shouldn't be straight line because boats are usually corked a little bit. So we can do something like that. And the other side will be probably similar. We can make it a little bit longer. And then down. So again, not a straight line. Boats are usually a little bit something like that. And this side as well. And then we have water. So we can have one line for water for now. However, I'll show you later um, how to make it so it doesn't look like the boat is standing on like a concrete floor. Because if we have just one line here with our paint, for example, we have red, uh, red boat and blue uh, water, it will look like it's standing on like red carpet or something. So I'll show you how to make this shadow so it looks nice um, like on the water. So that's usually what I do, like very simple, very simple, uh, lines. And when you have the back of the boat, I guess this one is more complicated because we have very different boats. You can see that those ones look completely different, this one and this one. But I guess the rule is quite similar. So try to avoid any straight lines. So always the side of the boat needs to be a little bit curved because if you do it like that, then it looks like a tent or something. Yeah. So I think probably this, that's the best tip to, um, to think about when you sketch boats. And all the stuff that's are happening here, for now, just try to sketch maybe like very simple where we're going to have this stuff because it doesn't really matter what exactly we have there. I'll show you how to paint it so it looks like we have detailed painting, but in fact, we don't have. Um, yeah, so, so what's here, what's happening here for now, it's not really important. Um, so we'll come back to this later, I think. Okay, so, so the most important bit is the, uh, is it the hull? I can't remember, the hull or the back, the, the, the base mm. of the boat, getting that bit in place. Um, yeah, on, probably this, this center line, I guess. And all these nice lines here and here. Yeah. There needs to be, you know, like nice flow. It, it can't be like too straight line because then it doesn't really look realistic. Yeah. yeah. And, and I would say that that middle boat that you showed is probably the easy, as you said, it's probably the easiest yeah, one. Yeah, I think it's, it's the easiest one. Straight <laughs> on at you. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But how yeah. would you go about doing the one on the left and the right? How would you approach? Um, let's maybe have another page. So probably the left one, we can see that it has like one very straight um, side. <clears throat> and the shape is, you can say like, it looks a little bit like triangle, something like that. And then we have, so this one, I can imagine is just like straight. It doesn't have like any course. I think it's just straight. And then we have right and left side. So on the left side, we don't really see too much. So we can, if you want, we can just add a little bit. And on the right side, we have a little bit more of the boat visible. So again, this line here needs to be a little bit curved. And it should finish somewhere here. I think this part probably goes up a little bit. That's why here we're going to see shadow. and shadow here. And we're going to add shadows here later. And I think those shadows will also give us a little bit more of this three-dimensional view of the boat. 
Yeah, so that's probably the, um, the left one. This line, I think, so in real life, it's not exactly straight because I guess all the bolts there are a little bit like, notice this line is not so straight, but I think in this view, the horizon line is somewhere here. So um, I think we can just say it's a straight line. In real life, it should go a little bit down. So if you want, you can do it more like that if you want to be like super precise, Great. something like that. And the right one, I think it's quite similar to this one. It has just different shape of the back because I can see it's more like, I'm not even sure what's this, um, what this shape is, but it's more like this one, something like that. Then it goes down. We don't really see the right side. We can see on the left one. And again, it should go something like that. And we're going to have our shadow here. Something like that, I guess. Yeah, great. Hopefully that's helped Louise. Um, and, and, <laughs> I and, hope it helps. <laughs> and as Cassie said, I think getting those, these, the bottom bits of the boat in is the most critical. And as Cassie mm -hmm. said, the stuff on the top, you can start to um, show shapes uh, that will people will fill in the blanks mm. later. So, um, but obviously, I think the base, um, also the shadow, which will really accentuate it as well. It's important to just quite get those shapes correct. But um, mm. I think yeah, so I think shadows that, are really important. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so let us know if you need any more help on that. Um, mm -hmm. With regards to um, everybody else, if you're all ready to, is there anything else you wanted to say about the sketch, Cassia? Um, I think about the sketch, not really. I can give you just one tip for your future paintings maybe, mm -hmm. um, because you can see that I, uh, I put my horizon line somewhere here. So horizon is like the line uh, between a sea, because we have sea here and sky. So um, I put it here. So just a tip for your future paintings. Um, if you put horizon line in the middle, then usually paintings don't really look so interesting. So it's really good practice to put it up or down a little bit. So if you want to focus more on the water, on the like texture and maybe waves or reflections, it's really cool idea to put it up so you have a little bit more of water. And if you want to focus more of the boats, maybe there's something interesting happening here, then try to put it down a little bit and you can paint the boats. So I think it's really cool to always remember that when you plan your composition. Um, yeah, because uh, we don't always paint exactly as we see in the photo. Sometimes we can just make up some stuff and it's even more interesting. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good tip. Thank you.